Let's see how it goes. We might have to pull out of the sighting and take a standby. Let's just see if we can actually fit enough people without putting too much pressure on these animals. Obviously, that's the absolute last thing we want, want to do and also fall into aardvark burrows. We don't want to do that as well. Actually, looks like a little mud wallow that was here. It's now just become overgrown. Okay, we're gonna have to do with this. Well, I can't see how many lions are actually here, barring the big mane that you can see. I can't even tell you which Birmingham it is at the moment because he's looking the wrong way which is making it very, very difficult, of course. So we will be able to establish who exactly we're looking at when he decides to turn his head around. It's like I said, I don't know if the whole Nkuhuma Pride is here, but this is obviously the other Birmingham that was seen this morning with Ali. Well, I think Ali only got two, but Dunno Taxon actually saw three Birminghams in the beginning. That's quite interesting. Maybe you can help me out because I didn't see, I wasn't in that sighting. Can you let me know which Birmingham? It, oh, you wouldn't have even known because you didn't see him. That's silly, Taylor. Go away, fly. There's a couple of flies flying around here. I'm going to just try and swat them. So now, like I said, he's very thick. He's got his head up. Yeah. No, don't worry about it. Thanks, Chantal. It's okay. Those are the ones that crossed south, so it won't be this line. Uh, most likely Nana. I'm going to say Nana. You can play the guessing game until he decides to turn around. The only other option, of course, is Nsuku. But it is very difficult to, of course, be able to identify from, well, the back like this. Unless you're Tinio and you have a half moon cut out of your ear. Then it's slightly easier. But Nana's got an equal sign on his nose. And then, of course... Well, Nsuku has got the most gorgeous golden eyes, and he is, he is a very pretty lion. He didn't ha last time I saw him, he d didn't have very many scars on him, and we think he's the oldest one of the Birminghams, too. I think it's just him. I don't think there's any other lions here. I can't see anything else. But there were female lion tracks around here. So, Craig, don't feel bad. We didn't miss him because we didn't drive anywhere near here. When Horbury said that he found him... Craig and I looked at each other and we went, we just drove past Moiti Dam. <laughs> we thought we'd missed him, but he's right off of the fire break, further south of the fire break, so I can understand why we missed him. Just laying on the edge of the drainage line. He may have even been further in the drainage line when the day was at its hottest. There's a big yawn. But perhaps he's not going to stay seated for very long, or is he just tricking us? Hopefully he doesn't go down into that drainage line. That'll be... Terrible. Mm, let's see. Come on, turn your head a little bit more so we can actually see your face. You're giving us all the yawns. Just a little bit this way. You can definitely see that he's been sleeping, though. You all the leaves and things in his mane. It doesn't look like he's groomed himself just yet. He's looking quite scruffy. Especially if they were fighting with the hyenas this morning. You can imagine he'd be a little bit sort of tatted up, I'm sure there would have been a lot of saliva that would have been flung everywhere, especially if they were tearing into the carcass. You can imagine three big male lions fighting over scraps of a wildebeest carcass. Quite a bit of commotion. But now he's tending to his grooming, which is very important for these cats. It's, they have to stay nice and clean. And well, a good place to start, of course, is your paws. And then you can wet your paws and wipe your face. And that's exactly what he's going to do with that very, very rough tongue. Look at the size of those paws. It always amazes me. Now, it doesn't seem like much, but I promise you, if you were to put your hand up against that lion's paw, they would look dwarfed. They're really, really massive. And when a lion, you know, sort of leaves its footprint on the ground, I don't think it does their, their foot size any justice at all. You're just seeing the pads. Their pads aren't as big as their toes, and I suppose they've got quite hairy feet too. So that makes them look nice and big. Now I believe a lot of you have said you think that this is informal. That is amazing. <laughs> that you can tell who this lion is from that shot. That is so impressive. I'm going to wait until he turns around. You probably are right. But we will just wait. And it's quite interesting then. Because who crossed south with, 
well then who are the two male lines that crossed south? Because there was definitely a third one. Maybe it was Tenyo and Nana that you saw first. Or Nsuku, like I said, I didn't, I didn't get to see that sighting at all. I didn't even see really any pictures that I can remember. And hopefully he's going to get up and move around for us. He looks like he's going to get there, but we'll see if we can try and squeeze in and get a better view. There are, like I said, there are lots of cars here. It's a very limited spot. We don't want to put too much pressure on him. So we'll maybe just actually even wait for him to get up and come to us. And I'm going to send you across to Byron at Chitwa with his elephants.